Hi everyone, it's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. I'm sorry I've been a little bit quiet on here, but I have finally succumbed to that virus that everyone's been avoiding for the last few years. Um, so I've just got my voice back and today is a very exciting day because a few weeks ago we um, I showed you us measuring out the new flower bed on our lawn area which isn't a lawn and um, what we're doing is we're doing a no dig bed in that area so we have actually dug out some of the dandelions and thistles but uh, we haven't dug anything else and then we've laid cardboard on top of that area um, just on top of all the weeds and everything that's there. We've taken off all the sticky strips and you know any plastic taping and stuff like that because it needs to decompose and the tape won't decompose. So then what you do is you wet that cardboard and then you cover it in topsoil and mulch and compost and whatever you like and that's what we're doing today so we've had this huge delivery of farmyard manure and compost and topsoil and we're just going to put that on top of all the wet cardboard and then we're going to plant directly into that and I'm hoping that this is a much easier way for us to create a flower bed Anyway, oh, once again, apologies for my voice, but that's what we're doing today and I'm going to show you us doing that. Well, actually, it's mostly Richard because, as you know, he's the hard labour and I'm really not up to it. But um, I will be directing <laughs> and instructing. Um, so let me show you what we're going to do. So it's a little bit bright out here, but hopefully you can see this big bed behind me. And on either side, um, we've piled up the farmyard manure and the compost and the topsoil and I'll show you what we're using. So this is the peat free compost that we're going to use and this is the farmyard manure and this is the topsoil. Um, so what we did is we just sort of temporarily laid the cardboard down so we could check how much we needed and whether we had enough but we're going to take it all off and just make sure we've got the outline of the bed correct and then we're going to lay it all down and soak it and then put all the stuff on top.
So that's it for today. We finished prepping our no dig flower bed. So once again, I'll just go over what we did. Um, we dug out the really nasty weeds like the dandelions and the thistles and any brambles. There wasn't that much. And then we covered that with a layer of cardboard, having taken off all the sticky tape and stuff that won't decompose. And we soaked that quite thoroughly. We then covered that with a layer of topsoil. Uh, we used all the topsoil that we had but it was only quite a thin layer in the end and then we put quite a thick layer of farmyard manure on top of that and then on top of that we've put all the compost and that is really quite a thick layer i'd say we've got at least five inches worth of a combination of stuff on top of the cardboard possibly even more but I guess once it's settled a bit there'll be less um, but the bed is now ready to be used and we can just plant straight into it which is very exciting so if you have any questions about what we did or why we chose to do what we did then do let me know in the comments below and if you've enjoyed this video then do subscribe to my channel I'll be posting loads more like this and uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time Why does this rake feel like it's going to fall apart in a minute? Oh my God. Is it supposed to turn like that? No, it's just got loose handed on it.